Welcome to another Gibbscam video. In this video we're going to show you how to heal up or stitch a um, surface model and make it into a solid. As you can see on my screen I have a model here and it looks like a saw model but in Gibbs if a saw model comes in whether it's an IGES, Parasolid, whatever and it has issues or problems Gibbs will bring it in as blue which tells you that there are probably gaps in the part um, something is not stitched together it's not really a solid model it's actually hollow so how do you tell what that is because if you select um, saw model sometimes you can tell the different sheets sometimes you can't if I turn on edge selection you can see here's all the different sheets on that part to make the solid so how do we know what is the bad patches there I'm gonna bring up my surface modeling palette and click on this button here that says stitch sheets now if I turn on my edge selection you can see this shows all the edges here but if you uncheck this button here it's only going to show you the edges that have issues that aren't stitched together so I'm going to click on that and you can see we have two surfaces there that are not stitched something's wrong with them either the engineer overlapped some radiuses or something happened on the translation this one happens to be an IGES file if I take this sheet off you can see of course it's hollow again another indication that it is a surface model let's put that patch back so what I want to do is heal these up and make it into a solid model so I'm going to turn face selection off I'm going to select here I'm going to select here and click on stitch now you can see that is stitched up it looks really nice and again click on here click on here stitch and as you can see if everything is successful and it stitched it up it will turn gray which is the Gibbs standard color to show you that this is a solid model so just one quick way to uh, heal up solids we also have a uh, number of different ways uh, we can do it we can do multiple passes multiple tries we can select edges where there might be a gap and actually stretch those edges together and fill in the gap that way of course we can always make a patch as well but if they're very small uh, gaps in here we can pull those edges together and make them into a solid model because normally you don't want to machine uh, a surface that has a gap in there or because your tool will dive down into that gap a little bit and gouge your part so it's best if you work with a solid model you can machine surface models you just want to make sure the surfaces for instance these here were all stitched together even if you're just doing a surface so a quick little tutorial on how to um, heal up solids that come in blue which tells you it's a surface model and make them into a solid model thank you for watching